Hello, and welcome to this how-to series for Psycho Experience Commerce. My name is Rob Earlham, and today we're going to be looking at how you can manage the pricing for the products you have for sale on the site. In Psycho Experience Commerce, there's two different types of pricing you can set. Static pricing, which, as the name suggests, is a price that doesn't change. You log onto the system, enter it against the product, and it won't change again until you physically go and change it yourself. And dynamic pricing, which is where you can set future price changes into the system, and these will then happen automatically without you having to log on and do the change yourself every single time. The first one we're gonna start off with today is static pricing. And you can see that I've already loaded up the Sitecore Commerce Business Tools here. And we're gonna jump straight into the merchandising section. The static price for a product is stored against the actual product definition itself. So we're gonna go into our Habitat Master Catalog, into one of the categories, and we're just gonna choose one of the products we have for sale on the site. Of course, before we can make any changes, as in the previous video, we have to add a new version of the product. I'm gonna switch over and view the new unpublished version. And now we can scroll down and we can see the list price section. This is where you set your static pricing for this product. On the right, you have the three different icons and that allows you to edit the pricing that's been assigned. We're gonna use the middle key, which is the edit one, and we're gonna edit the existing price. You can see the currency is set to United States dollars. And we're gonna change it for this version down to $90. We use the blue tick on the right and confirm that. Now we can see the price has been updated. And all we have to do to push it out to the live site is to push this product through workflow. So we're gonna submit its draft state And then we're going to approve that draft. Now, if you look in the NTC version panel, you can see the published value for version two is set to true. And that means that new list price of $90 will flow through down to the storefront. So as you can see, editing your static pricing for a product is really simple. But what's really powerful is when you start to look at dynamic pricing. And that's what we're going to take a look at now. If we return to the commerce landing page and look at the merchandising section once more, here you can see the catalogs that have been configured for the site listed. And if you take a look, there's a column for price book name. Here you can see that the Habitat Master Catalog is assigned the Habitat Price Book. And a price book is what's used in Sitecore Experience Commerce to manage all of the dynamic pricing that's set for the products that you have for sale. And this gives you the ability to schedule future price changes, meaning you don't have to physically change prices at a specific moment in time. You can schedule them and have that happen automatically for you. So that's what we're gonna do now. You may remember in a previous video that we added a set of luxury headphones to the site. We're gonna schedule a price change as part of a winter sale that's coming up. So to do that, we're gonna go into the pricing section. Once in here, you can see all the price books that have been configured for the site. It was the Habitat price book that was assigned to the Habitat Master Catalog, so that's the one we're gonna go into. In here, you get all the details about the price book, various summary items and different details. But the bit that's most interesting is the price card section. And a price card is a way of grouping a set of future pricing changes together. So we're gonna create a price card for our luxury headphones. If you look on the right, once more, you can see the icons that allow you to interact with this section. So we're gonna use the add button. And we're gonna add a price card for a winter sale. We're gonna populate a description field. And the display name.
We click OK, and we can see it's now appeared in the list. So let's click on the price card to take a look at what's inside. Well, you get your summary section. This is basically the ID the item has in the database, and some of the values that we just entered in the previous screen. But if you look down to the bottom, the key piece of information here is contained in the price card snapshots. And a price card snapshot is what is used to detail a future change in price. Once more, we're going to use the icons on the right to interact with this section, and we're going to create a price card snapshot. And we're going to schedule this for the 1st of December. And you can see the snapshot's been created. We can now click on the snapshot and view its details. In here is where you actually get to set the pricing change. So once more, we can use the icons on the right. First of all, you select the currency, in this case USD. And then we're going to set the price, which was 399 originally, down to 299 You'll notice there's also a quantity field, which I'm going to set to 1. And this allows you to do discounted bulk buying. For example, it means you could give a user a discount if they bought 5 sets of the headphones, or 10, or 50, or however many you like. In this case, we're going to keep it simple and just set one price. So the snapshot's being configured now. The next thing we need to do is actually publish it. So we're going to go and request approval of the snapshot. You can add a comment here for reference as well. And then we're going to approve it. And if you look in the details section, you can see its status is now approved. So that's the start of the winter sale, but we need to handle the end of it. We want to return the price back to 399 when the sale finishes. So we need to add a new snapshot for the end of the sale. So once more, we're going to use these icons on the right, and we're going to set the sale to finish in February of next year. If we go into this new snapshot, the same as before, we need to set the pricing. So we'll go for United States dollars, set the quantity to one, and we're going to return the price back up to 399. We can now push this through workflow. And approve the change. And once more, you can see the snapshot status is now set to approved. We can go back to the price card and see both of the snapshots listed here. But the last thing we need to do is actually assign this to the product. And to do that, we're going to go back into the merchandising section once more. In here, we're going to go into the Habitat Master Catalog. We're going to go down to the Departments, Audio, and then we're going to load up the luxury headphones themselves. As we'd already pushed this item through workflow previously, you can see the active version's published value is set to true. So in order to assign a price card to it, we're going to need to add a new version. And we'll jump into the unpublished version. We can scroll down, and what you'll see is a pricing section. And this is where it allows you to assign a price card to this product. Once more, we use the icon on the right to edit the values. And this gives you a drop down, allowing you to select the price card you want to choose. Here we can see our luxury headphone winter sale price card. So I'm going to click on here. We're also going to do the same for both of the variants. And now we've completed that, we just need to push it through workflow once more. We're going to submit this draft. And then we'll approve it as well. And if we scroll down, we can see the pricing sections populated with the price card name. And that's all we need to do. Now, as soon as the 1st of December rolls around, 
the headphones price will automatically change for me from 399 to 299 and when the 1st of February rolls around after that, they'll change back again. Without me having to do anything in the system, this is all taken care of for me. Hopefully that's giving you a good walkthrough of the powerful pricing features included in Sitecore Experience Commerce. Don't forget to come back and watch the rest of the how-to series. Thanks.